This is Pulse 95. Pulse 95. It's the Morning Majulus. It's the Morning Majulus. Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome back to the program. And uh, we are gearing up for the upcoming 10th edition of the International Government Communication Forum. It is set to take place here in Sharjah on September 26 to 27 under the theme Historic Lessons, Future Ambitions at the Expo Center. And we're delighted to have with us Ruhud Nasser Al Aboudi, Head of International Relations at the Sharjah Government Media Bureau. Good morning and welcome to the show. Oh, oh. There we Hello. go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> We're doing great. Uh, thanks for coming in. Let's start by talking about that theme. It's pretty interesting. Historic lessons, future ambitions. Could you describe that to us and what the event overall aims to tackle? Well, the event is the 10th edition this year mm -hmm. and um, it aims to talk about communication tools, our his what we've learned in history, basically. Are these tools um, relevant? for the future, um, how will governments tackle new challenges? The way they tackled them 10 years ago, will it be the same for the mm -hmm. next five, 10 years? Speaking of social media, so this this year's uh, forum, the International Government Communication Forum, is, is organizing exciting brainstorming uh, sessions and also uh, youth interactions to initiate conversations, um, to mobilize the youth alongside uh, the key stakeholders such as the media, social media influencers and so on. So who does this event cater to and target? Like what is the target audience uh, for this year's uh, uh, IGCF? Well like you said the youth who are the future. Yeah. Um, government communication professionals, mm -hmm. students, government communication employees, mm -hmm. government communication teams, um, whether they are in private organizations or in government organizations. And the main focus this year is going to be on social media or what is it really mm, going to be? Social media is part of it. Uh -huh. How social media affects people's opinions, um, their decision making, mm -hmm. how it affects um, or how it helps governments to, um, let's say, communicate the messages they want to the public. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and can you take us through the planning process uh, to, to organize such an event? Oh, um, so <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> it's a lot of work, especially within the pandemic. We're still going through the pandemic. Yes. Yeah. It's still there. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look like it's going to go away anytime right, yeah. soon. Not anytime soon. And, but um, it was a challenge. Yeah. Um, we've been able to overcome it, but it's a whole, it's a one year process. Yeah. We need to, um, as a team, we have to first discuss the agenda, the theme, the topics, what we want to talk about mm -hmm. each year. So each year is different. Um, we add things, we take away things, we discuss things a lot. We have a lot of meetings until yeah. we, you know, get to the final, final, final program. Um, speakers are chosen according to the theme mm -hmm. or the s of of this part of the particular year, mm -hmm. and they're chosen according to the topics we've put. So we can't choose the speaker first and then put the topic. Yeah, we have to put the topic first. Yeah, and what the topics are going to focus on, and then choose the speakers accordingly. So it's a year in the making. Yep. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. that's a long time to prepare for an event. Exactly. And uh, yeah. looking at the topics being tackled in this event, you've got mm. so much going on here. I'm looking at some of the headlines here. One says how COVID-19 is changing the world. That's going to be one of the talks. Another one is how to break the hold of conspiracy theories. Another one is on the efficacy of communication messages and also how to leverage social media to communicate with public. So what are your expectations that people attending this event, what are they going to get out of attending these talks? Well, we want them, obviously, to get the best out of the event mm -hmm. and to get as much information as they can in regards to the topics and the theme of, of this year. Um, since it is its 10th edition, we want people to um, learn from past events that we've had and how this can help us for the future. Um, the event is um, is a learning process. Every yeah. year is different practices in government communication. How governments have developed their communication strategy, strategies and methodologies over the years, especially this past year and a half. We've had governments that had to have do on-spot decisions 
and effective communication just to control the things that have been going on in their individual countries. Especially with, I mean, I'm talking about COVID. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm looking at the agenda for, for this year, uh, on the 26th and 27th of the IGCF. Looking at the inspirational talks here, I'm looking at some of the titles of the talks, how to communicate with the public in the midst of crises, creativity in the face of crises, uh, communicating uh, with the general public. We're talking about how COVID-19 is changing the world and it has changed the world. How to break the hold of conspiracy theories. I'm just looking at yeah. some titles here the efficacy of communication messages um, what are some of the talks uh, that you recommend for people to not miss this year that's from that, your that wouldn't view. be fair that wouldn't that be, would fair. be fair <laughs> okay okay that wouldn't be fair all the topics are important yeah. all the topics um, complete each other yeah. yeah and they all have different messages to give yeah. but at the same time same may mes- same messages because mm-hmm. they just all complete each other yeah yeah and but, can you, mm, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Can you talk to us a little bit more about, um, because you've seen the way that the UAE government and the Sharjah government yes. in particular has operated during the pandemic. Yes. Can you talk to us about the job they've done so far, the impact of their government communication from from then until now? Well, the UAE government did an excellent job in communicating to the public and giving information and tackling misinformation. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that has helped the citizens, whether they're local or not, in the United Arab Emirates to um, feel safe. I think that's very important when you live somewhere is to feel safe. And I think I think that's what, um, or I believe that's what the government was able to do is keep everybody safe and always up to date with new information that's been coming in. Mm-hmm. And having listened to the, the list of topics within the agenda, I feel the public would be very interested in attending this and learning more about deciphering government communication and how to sort of get information from the right sources. So if anyone's interested in attending the International Government mm-hmm. Communication Forum... There's so many workshops as well. Absolutely. Yeah, especially about... Uh, sorry, I'm, I, I cut yeah, you Yeah, no, this is a great point. Uh, but like podcasting, uh, yeah. you have creating content for social media platforms. You have government communication chats as well. Yes. yes. Uh, this is incredible. We have around seven workshops. Yeah. Seven main sessions, five inspirational talks. We have in a total of 79 speakers and participants, uh, 12 sideline activities. And yeah, and a lot of people coming in from all over the world. So this event is clearly not to miss. No. Yeah. But if the public's <laughs> interested in attending, how can they do it? Um, registration is online. Um, on the first day, um, the opening ceremony, I believe, starts at 10 o'clock. But registration starts at 11. Mm-hmm. So I think that's so they it's just to limit the people during the opening ceremony with the, the pandemic. So the website is? Uh, the website is www.igcf.ae. All right. And one more big message to the public to attend the event. What would you tell them? The one thing that is not to miss at this year's IGCF, how would you it's, tell them? It's our 10th year anniversary, so please attend. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. 10th year anniversary. Uh, delight speaking to you, Ahud. Oh, about it's always a pleasure to be here. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Absolutely. And of course, we'll be there at the International Government yes. Communication Forum. So we'll definitely be talking to you over there again as well. <laughs> yes. We're countdown two weeks left (laughs) absolutely two weeks left expo center sharjah international government communication forum be there and uh, we'll certainly continue our coverage throughout this program and future programs here as well thank you all for uh, tuning in we'll keep the conversation going on the majlis up next we're going to be talking about the apple versus epic games lawsuit and many more stories shaping the headlines if you liked this episode of the morning majlis drop a like and subscribe Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.